to move on, of course, because we have some stuff to cover. You guys want me to watch the Eric Hansen video? I already had it on my radar, so we are gonna um, we we are gonna watch it. So here we go. Let's watch this video. It's 17 minutes, 10:36. We have plenty of time to get through it. Here we go. Um, let's get through it. Here we go. Chest drama, but I didn't expect it on a Monday, right? Just watching England fail to beat North Macedonia in soccer today, and then my phone. Let's starts, put the speed uh, at 1.25. Um, Eric, go check Twitter. You know, there's something there. And lo and behold, I go to Twitter, right? And I see everyone's best friend, GM Hikaru, tweet that he's been accused of cheating. Mm -hmm. and Very true. Didn't expect that on a Monday. So let's go Actually, back wait, to the I'm over step. Eric. Sorry, let me move my cam. Sorry. An hour ago, Jan Nepomniachtchi tweeted, uh, yeah. seems like a screenshot of Kramnik's chess.com page, which is mm -hmm. usually pretty entertaining. As you see here, his status is despising it's, cheaters. It's still a little bit too slow. Let me put it one and, and then, a half. Uh, he tweets, because he's the hero Gotham deserves, but not the one it needs right now. All right. All right. Let's, what does the profile say? Some small new piece of statistics. Recently noticed a player had scored 45 and a half out of 46 consecutive three-minute blitz games against approximately 29.50 in average rating opposition. Two different players, which is equivalent to a 3,600-plus performance in those 46 consecutive games. I believe everyone would find this interesting. Well, now that you say that, we will research that and try to find it interesting. Oh, look at that. My Twitter in Canada says Hikaru's now trending. So There's only one problem. Hikaru trending doesn't refer to me, I don't think. If I click on Hikaru, it's probably some hot girl, right? Yeah. Oh, um, this doesn't look like me. Ayo, this doesn't look like me at all. What the heck? Wait, that doesn't look like me. What? Huh? That doesn't look like me. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um, yes, I changed. Yes, I changed. Where is, is there even a tweet about me? Like none of this is even about me. So when they say Hikaru is, is trending, uh, unfortunately it's, it's not about me. So, all right, let's keep going. Oh, tweets this. Kramnik didn't tweet. This is a screenshot provided by Nepo and writes, because he's the hero Gotham deserves, but not the one he needs right now. I'm not exactly sure how to read that. It doesn't necessarily mean an endorsement to me. Mm -hmm. Although if you follow Twitter, you'll know that Jan is pretty outspoken against cheating in chess. Mm -hmm, uh, true. Complains about it a lot. Yes. Most recent tweet. Judging by the current state of affairs and online or over the board chess, either the cheating situation is, is completely out of control or the rating system needs to be reformed or both. Mm -hmm. That was October 13th. But he's definitely, you know, definitely chats about it a fair amount. Right. And then, and then we go back to Hikaru's page, right? And your tweets an hour ago, Vladimir appears to be referencing my record. Is he really accusing me of cheating? At Levitov Chess, at LeChess Are you jumping on this accusation as well by tweeting this garbage? So, I don't think it's necessarily clear that nepo is posting that as an endorsement i think it might mean that uh someone's asked oh, okay so and... actually i'll, I'll be uh, just to specify one thing because i didn't specify it uh when i tagged levitov chess actually I, I did respond to an email from him he actually asked me about a week ago if i wanted to go on the podcast on his podcast levitov uh Ilya levitov used to be the head of the russian chess federation in the i want to say late 2000 into the early 2010s um and now I, I don't think he's super involved with chess anymore, although he did organize a tournament in the Netherlands a couple of months ago. Um, but he is someone who I believe is very close to Vladimir Kramnik. Kramnik. Most of the things that Kramnik has said have been on his podcast. So that's the reason I tagged him in this reply. Against cheating online and publicity there, but maybe this isn't the right, right moment. Mm -hmm. That might be an interpretation. But then, so, but it looks like Hikaru thinks the profile is about him. So of course the profile is about me. Can, score 45 and a half out of 46. I, I mean, the problem is when Kramnik puts it, you know, Kramnik probably, uh, Kramnik was actually very stupid. I'm going to be honest. If Kramnik wanted to do it in a way to be anonymous, he would have, he would never have put the average rating and, and like, a, a, and the performance because the, beating a 2950 average online, there are probably three people I can think of who could actually do that. The only three people who I think could farm 2950s in that, in that, in that manner are Magnus, myself, and Daniel Neroditsky. I don't think there's anybody else online who could do it. Obviously, Magnus hasn't been playing online, and it's very easy because you only have to check my profile or check Daniel's profile. Um, so, so yeah, that, that's that's if Cranon was actually actually had a brain, he he never would he he would have found a way to do it without specifically listing it like that. But he doesn't have a brain; he's lost it. So let's keep going. So is he just assuming it's an accusation? I assume he he knows it's about him. So we're gonna check Hikaru'schess.com. You're going to ignore my score here, 8 to 37. You're going to ignore that on the right. Let's go to Blitz. Mm -hmm. And let's look for a win streak. Yep. Let's look for a win streak here. 
45 and a half out of 46 to make sure it's Kramnik is accusing Hikaru. Because <laughs> there's nobody in the world pretty much who could put up that score besides Magnus or Hikaru. Or Danya. Right? Or Danya. Actually, you know, I was going to say, if Kram if, I bet Kramnik could go and look at Danya and find Danya just farming farming a bunch of 2900s and, and probably find somebody say, well, like, Nero Ditsky, he scored like, he scored like 58 out of 60 against like, I, I don't even know which kids are 2900, but I, it would be, I'm, I guarantee you there's probably somewhere that if you go back and you look at Daniel's stats too, you'll find somewhere where Daniel just like farmed, farmed the heck out of 2900s. Um, there's a lot of wins here. Let's go back a little further. 45. We're going to have to count to 45. Okay. Let's count starting here. November 16th, 2023. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, <laughs> eighteen and a half. Twenty and a half, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine and a half. Thirty and a half, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Yep. There you go. From November 16th to 17th, Hikaru scored 45 and a half out of 46. Mm -hmm. Counting with Eric, so, exactly. So Kramnik is definitely talking about him. Look at the ratings. Mm -hmm. 2,900, 3,088. Probably balances out to 2,950, 3,000. 45 and a half out of 46. So Kramnik is absolutely talking about Hikaru. Mm -hmm. now, now I get to start talking a bit here because it gets a bit interesting. Hikaru... Yeah, he's jumping and assuming when Kramnik says interesting, he means he's accusing me of cheating. Okay. So, in the last few years, particularly... By the way, before we keep going with the video, someone says Kramnik should play Hikaru in Blitz. I've played Kramnik many times. I've played him in Blitz. I've played, I've played him in Classical Chess. I mean, I've played Kramnik a million times over the board. Like, I mean, as I said, that's why it's so bizarre to see this. It really is truly just beyond... Um, it's beyond It's beyond weird. It really is. I don't even, I don't even know. Maybe. Maybe... Maybe it's just lost it completely, but very, very disappointing. A lot of professional players have either directly expressed to me mm -hmm. that they think Hikaru is cheating <laughs> or ask me if I think that Hikaru is cheating. And now, and this is where I'm going to pause the video, and I could say this exact same thing that a lot of players have spoken to me about. Other prominent players in the world of chess and have said the exact same thing. And this is actually getting to the crux of the problem with chess in general. And this really does get to the problem. I'll, I'll slow the speed down. But this really hits the crux in terms of the problem. And honestly, I would go. I would say if we go back to that those events of a while back, if we go back to those events of a while back, this is the problem. Like what people don't, I think a lot of people don't understand, especially when I stream and I say a lot of things on my stream, is that a lot of these things that I'm referring to are things that have been said behind the scenes. Like whether it's, you know, I'm at a dinner with Fabian and Levon, whether I'm at a dinner with Nepo, whether I, you know, there's some chess party where, wherever it might be. Like a lot of things are said behind the scenes that never really see the light of day. And this is exactly the problem. So like what Eric is saying here, for example, is not shocking. And actually I could say, I mean, I, I will just say this. Everybody knows who I'm talking about, but there were multiple, I've heard this from multiple people. Um, about the chess champions tour. There's one point on the chess champions tour that there were, there were at least like three different people who were sure that, that, that someone was cheating in, in one of these chess champion tour events. They were sure, even though the stats don't bear it out, they were sure that someone is cheating. So this is, this actually really does hit the, um, hit, hit the problem. This hits the crux of the problem that everybody's saying things behind the scenes. And so like everyone's hearing all these things, everyone's becoming paranoid and you don't really know what the truth is. Um, so I'm talking about the Chess Champions Tour from this year, Division A, or Division One, I, I guess it's called. It's definitely started training a bit more, maybe three, four years ago, maybe the onset of COVID. Mm -hmm. And this is my stance, and this is what I say to them, is I don't think Yukar was cheating. And I also clarify, Duh. do you mean online or over the board? And usually the comments are online mm -hmm. in particular. Mm -hmm. That the level of consistency that he plays with is just unreal online, and they're suspicious of it. <laughs> it's, yeah, and believe. this is this is and these are like yeah strong professional players whoa thanks so much to chess dojo for the ray with 28 thanks so much to chess dojo actually before we keep going big, big shout out to chess dojo they did publish um i was actually on with them on sunday on their stream they did publish uh their podcast on their chess dojo channel so make sure you do check out the chess dojo channel uh thank you so much for the uh for the raid i would say in, in regards to that also to be very clear like there, there are a couple things that i think people really don't understand about this topic so i know a lot of people when they talk about it, they're like oh they're, they're like he's not consistent over the board the, the first thing i would actually use another example for this is that 
One great example is Daniel Naroditsky. When you look at Daniel online without increments, whether it's 3 or 1 he is a god. I, I'm, not, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Daniel is amazing. He is easily top five. I mean, he's probably top three in bullet, maybe on, on a good day, top two or top one. If, if Magus or I aren't playing well, like he's, top, he's top three in bullet. He's top five in blitz probably online with no increment. Now, one thing that people seem to forget when they talk about him is they're like, well, he's never won the World Rapid and Blitz or, or things like that. There are a couple things. First of all, World Rapid and Blitz is not 3-0. I would say probably 90, I, I don't even know, I'm saying like 98 or 99% of the games that I play outside of Title Tuesday are always 3-0 with no increment. That's the first thing about online. Secondarily, people seem to conveniently forget there have been two times that I've come very close to winning the World Blitz. And unfortunately, there's this, this player from Norway who uh, is just too good. I'm just going to say he's just too good at the end of the day. He's just too good. So, um, I mean, when people say that, it's just comical. Because, like, if, you, if I'm finishing runner-up to Magnus Carlsen, who's the greatest player of all time, well, I think, I think as, as the saying goes, uh, the results speak for themselves. I understand there's a lot of paranoia about the cheating these days, but my answer is usually the same. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think Hikaru's cheating. Mm -hmm. And when they ask why, I'm like, I've seen him play in person. I've been playing Hikaru in person since I was a teenager. This, this is also great. Level. In person I, I've... this is great you know what's great about this too i'm gonna give you guys something funny you, you probably have seen me say this but like um you know i, I actually uh, a, a while back I, I was in st louis and I, I don't think there's any any video of this but um th thank you for the raid appreciate it. thank you for the raid but yeah there, if there was a while back maybe it was like month and whenever the 960 was like i was in st louis and i think fabiano spoke about this when, when i beat when i when i beat him um uh, when I when I beat him, or no, I didn't beat him, but he he did a podcast, whatever it was, from the 960 event, and there's there a story about me playing against Ray Robson, where I played play time odds, and I and, and Ray had one minute, and I was playing against him with like uh, I think 35 seconds, and it was close to an even score. I think Ray was like plus two or plus three, and it was what, what I wanted to say about the story is like I was kind of a little bit annoyed. I actually I think I think when I lost it, I was like I, I was like dang, I, I wish I you know if I was 10 years younger, you you would not have been able to beat me like this or, or something like that. I don't remember exactly the exact words I used but I said something like that and that's what makes it so funny is that like at the end of the day I think I was a much better blitz player if we go back like 10 years than I am now like I'm much slower the reaction time's not as fast like I, I legitimately think I was a better blitz player 10 years ago than I am today which is why it's just so comical to see um to, to see this being said it's just it's just comical it really is seen how he plays in person and how he plays online he's just as resilient in person for the most part Really, really strong still. Yes, he is a bit better online than in person, but not, you know, he's got good mouse skills, good instincts. Some of those skills mm -hmm. he has over the board, they're just amplified a bit online. I've, I, I've of seen him are. play in person. Whether it's I mean, a, a, a good example, actually, of this, I, I, I'm i not going to pause many more times because you guys want to keep going, but like a good example of this is actually you look at Magnus. Like online, I feel like Magnus loses a lot of games due to the mouse. Like he, there are a lot of critical moments, even games against me or others where he loses on time or like he makes a mouse slip. Um, I would say that like that that makes a difference. It makes a big difference, actually. I think it does. Um, when when you think about it, it really does make a difference. Whether it's money on the line, and he's really, 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 really strong, and he's really good at just winning bad positions and fighting. And so like, yeah, like I played him for 15 years, and mm -hmm. he's that's he's super frustrating to play against. And and yeah, I, I think I think he's legit. Um, and that I still do, but it's. It was a rumor, and it still is something that a lot of players have been skeptical about. Um, and not just about Yukaru. If you open that box, there's actually yes, exactly. The place. Yes, or exactly. People, the chess world. Mm -hmm. Spend so much time playing that game of chess, you can go a little bit uh, crazy or overthink things. But yeah, that's that's my stance. I, I Kramnik's talking about online games here. Yukaru's really good at beating lower-rated players. Psychologically, mm -hmm. he's really hard to play against, so he's able to like win 10-0. And those are casual games, so I don't know particularly why the casual games are being brought up when he yes. does have an ability to actually this is big this, scores. He's been doing it since the ice. Yeah, this is this is the last time I'm pausing the video, but I also I just want to say this because it just sort of it sheds light on how insane this is. Like literally insane. Because if you think about it, the the thing is Kramnik did that whole long video about cheating. He's like, well, you cheat to make, you cheat to, to get prize money, I think it was. Like, you're only cheating at the end of the tournament. Like, all, all, the, all this hilarious stuff um, that, that, like, you're just cheating at the end of the tournament. It's like, oh, yeah, some, some casual online blitz games. Yeah, sure, exactly. Like, ruin your career. Like, ruin everything. Like, I mean, seriously. CC days. Um, so, yeah, I, but that's, I haven't been fully up to date with Kramnik's content. 
and I find it entertaining and I pay attention. He's a former world champion. Mm -hmm. He knows a lot true, of chess. True. I got to play him recently. His um, eleven game match. Yeah, his games are awesome. Don't worry, but Eric. You're part of a stat. I, you're part of a stat database now. I don't know now. why why Kramnik switched from trying to catch Tell Tuesday offenders to referencing Hikaru there because he he says in his you know right here like I believe everyone would find this interesting. So Kramnik wants us to check Duh. it out. I just think. Hikaru is really good at beating lower rated <laughs> players. Really good at the online chess, grind, 3 0, whatever you want to call it. And I think it's natty. I think it's natty. But I really have had a lot of players express to me concerns about Hikaru. Mm -hmm. And that surprised me at first because I thought, like, mm -hmm. for a long time he's been really good at online blitz and the way he wins. But, anyways, that, that's yeah, Eric's going to be on a list tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Um, we'll have to wait for some more updates. <laughs> Any questions there? Who is Kramnik referring to? No way to Karu. I just spent the entire video with <laughs> Hikaru. Who else in the world can score 45 out of 46 against 2950? Who just did two days ago? Hikaru. I just went to his profile and I showed Hikaru just did 45 and a half out of 46. I don't think Magnus did that a few days ago. So he's clearly <laughs> referencing Hikaru. And he says the word interesting. If you've watched my videos on YouTube when I'm catching cheaters, I'm pretty good at that. You'll notice I often use the word interesting when they play mm -hmm. a move I don't understand. Oh, that's an interesting move, my buddy. Or like, yeah, I use the word interesting. It's a bit vague. Oh, no. Kind of oh, no. Did, did Eric just accuse Buddy Pranav of cheating here? He just said Buddy. Did it, Oh, no. Did Eric actually just accuse Buddy Pranav of cheating? Like, that move by Buddy was interesting. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, Eric. That's that's not a good road to go down. He just said that, right? He just he just accused Buddy Pranav of cheating, right? Pretty good at that. You'll notice I often use the word interesting <laughs> when they play a move I don't understand. Oh, that's an interesting move, my buddy. <laughs> Or like, yeah, I use the word interesting. It's a bit vague, but kind of means, hey, there's something beneath the surface. <laughs> so, like, why else would it be interesting? Hikaru is going for the top rating thing. So I'm just sharing my opinion. I don't think Hikaru is, is, uh, should be uh, at the top of the suspect list. His consistency online is unreal. It's pretty much unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But I have Hikaru as, like, a top two all-time speed chess player. Yeah, that's pretty online, fair. Yeah. Uh, in particular. And you can make a case that he's the goat of online chess because of how long he's been dominating online chess. Magnus has like taken breaks and not always focused on that. But if you go by longevity and results, Hikaru's like been dominating the rating charts. Yeah, I've been up there for a long time, it's true. Since the mid two thousands, maybe. So uh mm -hmm. coming up on twenty years. He's on he's on the Mount Rushmore for speed chess for me. Um mm -hmm. But, you know, even if we don't get along always, I've been playing him in person for a long time. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have a pretty good understanding of his game. And I think the main reason people are skeptical is how consistent he is result-wise. He can have a bad start, have losing mm -hmm. positions, but he always ends up in the finals or winning. Because, because but, at the uh, end of the day, chess is about psychology, yeah, I, I as Magnus has proven on many, many um, occasions. And if somebody thinks it extends to over the board, I mean, Hikaru hasn't won a World Blitz title or World mm -hmm. Rapid title, but he's finished on the podium multiple times and near the i mean i played top. magnus in tiebreak for first in, blitz. Than magnus in, in his chest like he'll he'll have some lost positions or bad positions against some players in the field that mm -hmm. will happen a bit True. more frequently than, than magnus and magnus has more golds you mm -hmm. know he's as a result yeah and over the board is also three two world blitz and rapid has increment which is a different format anyways right also yeah true. i don't know that's that's my take we're gonna wait for some developments i think hikaru he thinks nepo might be jumping on the accusation i don't necessarily read it as such but i know nepo is quite worried about cheaters online as i said you just mm -hmm. look at his tweet history so yeah like look at september 14th for those who watch the recent c squared podcast episode it is impossible to imagine that a player is still allowed to play with headphones once i let, let me pause just to make sure that i'm registered yeah, yeah i am registered just making sure i'm registered okay let's keep going. um yeah actually i didn't know you're allowed to play with headphones i think i've been told mm -hmm. to take headphones off multiple times I don't know if that's a special rule they have for the event or something for Hikaru, but mm -hmm. I thought headphones were not allowed. Right, so here we, we go with this. You know, Nepo yep. was a bit concerned about, I mean, here there's only one guy wearing headphones, and that's not mm -hmm. Fabiano over here. 
Well, so, I mean, we we we, yeah, we yeah, I didn't I didn't know there was stuff. I thought the video was about to end, but I'll I'll be clear on this as well. Like um, Ali Reza Ali Reza wore headphones, and Nepo wasn't busy busy making a big deal out of that. Um, that that's what I would say on that. And and also for every I know it's it's a bit of a meme and a joke too about like not wearing headphones. But for anybody who is wondering, I did ma beat Maxine without headphones, and I did beat Magnus in the finals last year without headphones either. So it speaks for itself. Separate thing, but it's part of a larger issue that we keep going back to is mm -hmm. people are really, really worried about the cheating. True. But I'm a little surprised about Kramnik going for Hikaru based mm -hmm. on casual blitz games. <laughs> anyways, TLDR, didn't pay attention. Um, Hikaru thinks Kramnik is accusing him of cheating. Yes. I don't think Hikaru is cheating. I've been asked that by many players. There's definitely some rumors or suspicions there, but mm -hmm. I, I don't think he is. Yeah. And we're going to have to wait for more. Um, I can never say 100%, but... In that's person, true. he passes that's the true. eye test for me, mm -hmm. and online. That's true. It seems <laughs> it's plausible, but only plausible if you also like me consider him pretty much, you know, top two speed chess player mm -hmm. in history, especially for online. Yeah. For online, like, true. Just, mm -hmm. Yeah, just like one of the goats. Yeah, right? for sure. Yeah, I can um, say hundred percent. Absolutely. Been going after a lot of people. No, no, but, I, yeah, but what me. I'm saying is, is that we don't need to keep watching the video. But what I'm saying is that at the end of the day, it is true that someone from the outside, you can never say like hundred percent. You can say like ninety nine point nine nine percent. Like you can never say 100% because you actually don't know. That is true. But at the end of the day, um, the you know Eric does touch on a few things that are very very important overall. I I, I would agree with that. So um, let's move on. It was a good video. Um, and let's